Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kevin from Ramshard and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up any Forge version on your server. Now, getting started with this is fairly simple and the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is come to your server control panel, come down to the server type, click on this, scroll all the way up to the top and click custom jar. And now that you've set your server in a custom jar, you want to head to the files.minecraftforge.net page. Now you're going to want to go ahead and choose the forge version and build you need for your mod pack and or mod. And I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of 1.14.4 forge. Now you'll see that there's an installer button here, but if you go to 1.12.2, so in here you'll notice there was a windows installer and an installer file. Now here you will want to go ahead and use either or depending on if you're on windows use windows if you're on mac use installer but windows can use the installer as well so now that you have found your forge version you want go ahead and click on the installer and then click save file now once that is downloaded you can go ahead and click the open file button and you'll notice sometimes a, a thing will pop up saying it's not safe for your computer it's a jar file it can harm your computer trust me it will not harm your computer you'll be a hundred percent fine so go ahead and click ok or continue download and then once that opens up you want to go ahead and go into your desktop and create a new directory and I'm just going to name it forge now this is just a temporary file now on here you'll see three options will pop up install server install client and extract you want to go ahead and use the install server option and then click this little dot 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 here and then head to where you created that directory and then click open or ok and then once this has been set you can click the ok button and it'll run through the compiling and downloading process of all the forge files and libraries that you need and now that this has been installed, you're going to click the OK button and then you're going to want to go ahead and load up FileZilla and then log into your server. And from here, you want to go ahead and upload the forged files that have been downloaded. So just open up this little folder here, highlight all the files when they're selected, and then you want to drag and drop them over into the server files. And now that the files have been uploaded, you're going to rename the forged jar file to custom.jar. And now that these have been uploaded in the set, you can X out of the FileZilla client. You want to go ahead and head back into your control panel and then click the start button as it is already on the custom jar setting. Then just head to your console. And now that you're in your console, you'll see this pop up here, no GUI. That just means it's starting up the server. And then you'll also notice once it starts to generate the world file and there are no errors, you have done everything correctly. Now remember when you add more mods, you just want to go ahead and delete the old world file as the new stuff will not be generated. Now anyways guys, that is how you load your server on any Forge version that you would like. And again, this has been Kevin from Ramshard.